three, two, one. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Prep Toy Fans. She's in shock right there because she didn't even know this was happening. Day. I got a surprise video going on for you guys. We always do unboxing videos of everything coming in. Today, we're gonna show you everything going out. Yes. It's gonna be a different type of video. I want you guys to see the process of what we have to go through. What we have to go through to get these fish out in good quality for you guys. So right now, we got some already packed up, and then what we're gonna do is come right here to this camera to set up right by the packing station and show you each individual fish like this. So this is a Asian red tail. See, we gotta put enough water for the fish to be able to outstain the, uh, the ship be tight. We'll fill them up with oxygen. This is usually Fei Jai's job, but Fei Jai is uh, a little slow today. Oh, Fei Jai, I broke the machine. <laughs> what we do here, we close this up, step on the air pump, boom, there we go. Sometimes we have two fish in the box, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack one this way, which is plenty of water and oxygen for him to survive, and then the other one does the same way, like this. This guy's a little bit bigger, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little more water for him. All right, so now we got both fish in there, so what I like to do, we gotta put a heat back, because it's still cold to the way they're going, unless it's going to Florida. And then we like to put a little thank you card with a sticker and a beautiful picture of Hi and I. There you go. And that's it, this box is done. We just gotta close it up and put a label. We're gonna go help Oi catch all these fish and then Fei Jai is gonna stay here and show you guys how we do the process of every individual fish. But there's one problem today, my friend. We're not representing our company because you're wearing a plain blue shirt and I'm wearing a plain blue sh black shirt. I know where you're going, you're making new merch on yes. the fly. You have to represent, stretch. Let me see that chest cavity. There you go. Now you guys are gonna see Fred Toy Pink all the time. All right guys, so right now we're about to catch two stingrays uh, going out to a customer. It's actually a repeat customer. You guys might know who he is. This is from Brent. He was actually the guy that uh, helped us do a lot of the trucking from LA and Florida to New York. And he ordered, I think two of these Marble Motoro, uh, not Marble Motoro, but um, Motoro hybrids. So here's one. We're gonna drop it right in there. We have to give him a pair. So I had the females over here, and now we're gonna grab a male. So the cool thing about Motoro hybrids is there's a lot of variation in pattern. And you see this guy, he's got beautiful spots. I, I, let me pull him out and you guys can get a better look at it. Look at that. It's barely even Motoro. It's just a really nice hybrid. Alright, so I got here uh, four Savini. No, no, there's nothing to the bang. <laughs> <laughs> four Savini Earth Eaters. Right here, two, two and a half, and a silver one at three, three and a half. So what we like to do every day, we take all the nets and we chlorine them, clean them up so we can use it the next day and we're not cross contaminate. Smaller net. So we can save the big nets. Three and a half. And this guy right here. Decent size. Now that net stays here. This is for the stink. We're gonna go get the earth eaters. Let's go. Because these guys are on the smaller size, we gotta pull them out and just find the ones that are like around two inches. This is a bigger boy right here. It's crazy that they're all from the same batch. And look at the size difference. Look at the size of this guy compared to the ones in the bottom. But they're fast, dude. This might take a little minute. Definitely got some here. So let's see. We need six in this bag. Let's go ahead and start pulling them out. One, two. See, I like to individual pick each one for each fish. If I just take a whole scoop, I can't see if they're healthy or not. But when you're looking at them, you can pick out the fatter ones, the bigger ones. But these guys look a little skinny, so they didn't get any food. I'm gonna put them back and try to get one that looks better. Right, so we got six Savinis, all in one bag, around two, two and a half, and uh, jump into another box. Oi, you good? Yeah, what are you catching? What are you catching? I'm going to be Asma. Oh, she always professional, go check that out. Thank you. What I like about these fish right here that always catch, oh, look how green the eyeball is. You can see the green sheen? It's nuts. You can see, look, in the tanks, they almost look like neon. Look at the eyes, bro. That's wild. Every single one of them. I think there's two types of bumblebee Oscars. They come from different rivers. And I think this particular one are the ones with the green eyes. 
which is for me, it's like just nuts. It looks like they're wearing, like they're wearing a lens. So we have the small little baby Savinis like this. These little guys, believe it or not, they turn out pretty big. They're not a monster, but they end up turning into something like this, which they're beautiful, beautiful fish. A lot of people like to have Savinis in a tank because they're very uh, docile. They can be in a community tank. What they do all day is they just sift through the sand, pick their spots. But that one back there is probably the biggest one of this group. What size is it supposed to be? Three, three and a half. Three, three and a half? Okay. All right, now I'm getting an arrow primer. I think I'm gonna go for this guy right here. He looks pretty active and strong. Okay. I was telling John earlier, sometimes catching fish is an art because you have to know where they're going to make the process easier for you and for them. What do you got? For shirts for everyone. All right, this right here is gonna be a leopard frog. I always like to pick out the nicest ones first. One really nice one right here. Check this out. Ooh, sorry, buddy. Really nice markings. Beautiful. Wait, 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 come here, come here. You have to do it, wait, please, please. I'll pay you, I'll pay you. Yes, check this out. Come here, wait, come here, come here. Guys, do not laugh. If you laugh, you're going to hell. Boy. Boy. If you had to catch this fish. Oh, you tell me to catch this fish. What do you tell me to catch? The tough one fish. No. They're caught. Wait, wait, let me think. I like the first one better. Thomas Williams from Washington. You got the fish that I actually ordered myself from Colombia. You got a five to six inch Aymara. So I'm gonna pick that fish for you myself, buddy, just because we have no extra help today. Because <laughs> I have to do work. So I'm gonna charge you a little more for this type of uh, service. You know what I mean? Just kidding, bro. Love you. So we try our best to uh, get the size that you guys ordered just because I don't know what tank space you have. So I want to make sure that the fish I pick is what you guys ordered. There's this guy right here. <laughs> They're like, no, don't leave, don't leave. Come on. This this other one. Actually, that one's bigger. Okay. That's it. This dude right here. The other day, Ryan was walking around and they were literally flaring up in the tank. Look at that. Ready? With the face only a mother could love. These guys are the true, true monsters. But you know what's really cool though? Yesterday we got some, the Aymara from a different river. When they catch them fishing, their scales are blue. It's like a really nice blue scene. It's gonna be on the unboxing video, but I think we only have five of the smaller ones. If you guys wanna see this video, and order on the website, you should be available by then. Let's go ahead and put this guy in there and get another box. All right, let me see what you got here. This is a giant barb. Nice, I love these guys, dude. So a lot of times fish might look a little skinny, going out because we can't feed them for at least two to three days. And some fish like peacock bass, they get really skinny not feeding for two to three days. Imagine, you know, uh, like a baby or a child not eating for that long. Not the same case here, you know? Well, fish out of there, fish out of there. The moment you put them in your tank, they should start eating right away. Maybe not the very same day some fish will, but then the next day, they should be already acclimated, ready to go. Yo, fish out. You heard about our members now, bro? What yeah, about our members? members now, bro. Yeah, that's why we put that couch over there. Okay. <laughs> what, what's gonna happen on that couch? <laughs> what happens on that couch stays on the couch. See, that's how we do it. No, I'm just kidding. But we already got some members in this. And that's great. I just wanna let them know, we're not gonna change our channel. We're not gonna change who we are. You know, obviously you guys watch it, like and subscribe. It helps 
our channel as well. But a member would like it would help even more. So we're just gonna do extra stuff. We're not gonna change who we are just for the money. No, we're gonna be the same way, but we're gonna work late. We're gonna do other things. That's a good idea, right? Yeah, yeah. Or I more. guess there were a couple of people concerned that our channel might change because of the, the membership, right? Oh, I think there's but a lot of channels doing a membership now, and that's one of the things that they might change. Just care, they might cater juice for the oh, members. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Our channel is our channel, and it's gonna stay the same, grow the same. We're doing everything the same, and we're gonna be pushing it harder than ever. The subscription side of it, over the membership side of it, is just like you said, the extra stuff, some of the behind the scenes stuff, just stuff that we wouldn't normally show to everybody. So an, as an example. So it's a bonus. As an example, on the main channel, have you guys seen Fage Eye hug me? No, on the members channel you will. Okay, on the members channel, you'll see me knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> we got another problem right here. Two Thai humpback dragon puffers, six and a half, one big bag. That looks like your handwriting. Negative, my friend. Oh! My handwriting. Please come. What, my angel? <laughs> Boss. Is this your handwriting, boss? Yeah. Two Thai humpback dragon puffer. It's yours. Yeah. One bag. One bag, boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Apologize for the fish guts. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I can add another bag for you, though. I, I will get it, boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right now we're going to catch four Altums. This is for Donald Higgins out of PA. Well, that's not that far. Now, they're not in acidic water. This is just the medicine that we use, it's a little bit darker. So these guys are ready to go, but I want to pick some nice ones. I like the ones with colors. So that's one thing I look, is the color and make sure both streamers are big, not missing. We have this guy right here, beautiful Ultim. I don't want somebody to receive the fish and not be, not be perfect, you know what I mean? This guy's nice. So we got our four Altums. They look great. They're ready to go. What's that, more Zabrinas? I tell everybody, leave the Zabrinas there because they're small, they're babies, and they're not cheap fish. So I like to do them at the end. I wash my hands, make sure I'm not contaminated. Even though all these fish are quarantined, I don't want to keep mo moving from tank to tank. That's why we have individual nets for every tank. So this box right here, they got two true parrots, one bigger than the other. And this is for Frank White out of Alabama. You guys are gonna see two of them are struggling a little bit because they came in pretty much half dead. Uh, what I wanna try to do with them is put them in a cage and separate them because sometimes parrots can be picky and start picking on each other. All right guys, so it was a lot of fun and games over there, but I am the goalie. I am the one that makes sure everything is good before it goes out. What I do here ensures whether it gets to you dead or alive. So what are we doing here? We're packing up these monos here. We got five monos. Water still looks clean. I double check that the sizes are correct and that there's no damage to the fish. Basic pumping up some oxygen and sealing it up tight. When we do this kind of work, there's an art form to it. But not only do we want to make sure it's leak proof, we want to make sure that we use the right bags, that the fish don't puncture through it and it fits into the box properly. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. See, the bag fits this box perfectly. Just enough room for us to get our heat packs in there. And that's what I do. Every fish is different, right? So the monos are easy. They don't puncture the bags. We're gonna move on to something else. What we got here are the Chinese perch. Now it's a beautiful fish. Rod did a great job picking it. Now I'm just gonna look at it, double check. Everything's good, you know, no damage to the body, the eyes are good. But now these fish, they can puncture the bag very easily. After getting the basic oxygen in there, I'm also gonna quadruple bag it to make sure that he won't puncture the bag. And on top of that, because their fins are so sharp, I'm probably still gonna have to add a liner bag to it to make sure. UPS. No, not really, this is general stuff. Because we're doing the Chinese perch, right? So even if I quadruple bag this, they can still puncture a hole. Yep. So I want to have a liner bag because last thing we want is UPS to reject uh. the box because it's all wet. And that's happened before as well. Uh. <laughs> all right, so that was the compressor. But now this is the liner bag. I drop that liner bag into the box. That bag goes in there. And now we got the next fish. So let's see, we got a barramundi here. This customer ordered two fish, perch type of fish. So we know that he's probably gonna be putting it together in the tank. We just gotta make sure this one won't puncture the bag either. All right, so there you go. That's all quadrupled up. And I'm gonna fit, fit it into the box here. And close this up. Hey, if you guys recognize your order at home, feel free to let me know in the comments how it arrived because 
I always appreciate the feedback. So now once I'm done with my part, I pass it off to Alyssa here, and she's gonna be putting in the heat packs, taping it up, and making sure that you guys get the thank you card. Okay, we got three rope fish in here. Wow, they're good size. Check that out. Okay. Okay, we got a nice red tail catfish here. According to the box, it says it's a four inch, so this is well over four inches, so you guys got a good size fish here. This process is kind of repetitive because depending on the configuration of the box is how I configure the bag to make sure it fits properly. And I don't want to do it wrong because if I do it wrong, then I have to cut the bag and start all over again. This is a very repetitive process, but it's a process that I like to handle because I would just want to make sure everything goes out perfect and going out the right way. We got ourselves here a three inch Fajaca puffer. One of my favorite fish in the shop. I spend a lot of time taking good care of these guys. They're doing really, really well. I think there's only one more left. So if you guys like what you see here, go grab that last one before we're all out. All right. We're now closing up an African Arowana. It's about a good nine, 10 inches, I would say. We see we got to work. We did this video for you guys because I know you've been asking for it, but I really appreciate you working. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you working. I appreciate you watching it while as we're working. And um, stay tuned for new videos coming up because we do have some really cool stuff planned for you guys. What do you think? Yes. Members only. Love you. Bye.